I got an interesting scoop from a random Twitter follower yesterday. They told me the city manager of Newsville has been funneling money from the city to fund his private funnel cake shop. This is huge news, if it's true. Obviously, this is a made-up example, but let's just say the scenario actually happened. I received a juicy tip from one unverified source. While some blogs and tabloids may run with that information and publish it, legitimate journalists will look for other independent sources to verify news tips. Without that independent verification, trustworthy news outlets would never hit publish. So just how exactly do journalists find and verify information? Information is everywhere, both accurate and inaccurate. And as journalists, we get a lot of information from our sources. Sometimes those come from a new study or sources that we have longstanding professional relationships with. Others might be anonymous tips on Twitter. So how exactly do we verify that information and where we're getting it from? Let's talk about sources. Sources can be lots of things. They can be people, recordings, and even documents. Think back to your history lessons when you learned about primary and secondary sources. Reporters deal with those two things every day. And it's up to us to sift through all the information and present the verified consensus from our findings. Responsible reporting is a matter of gathering firsthand accounts and backing those up with hard facts. Let's take a look at the explosive case of Harvey Weinstein. In 2017, the New York Times published a story outing the movie mogul for his long history of sexual misconduct. If you're unfamiliar, think hashtag me too. This was the story that popularized that movement. Jody Cantor and Megan Toohey were the New York Times investigative reporters on the story. They knew it would be difficult to get people to go on the record against one of the most powerful and richest men in Hollywood, especially because generally, cases of sexual assault are incredibly difficult to report on. But there were documents. Weinstein's tendency to silence his victims with money left a lot of receipts and a long trail of legal paperwork. In other words, corroborating evidence. Ultimately, with those sources combined, they pieced together the full, conclusive story that led to the downfall and conviction of Harvey Weinstein. It's not every day that reporters handle this big of a story, but Cantor and Tui's investigation highlights key things reporters do to verify information. When we journalists are gathering stories, we look for consensus. In the case of the Times investigation, they talked with dozens of women from around the world dating back to the 90s. Often, these were women who had never met each other. But a lot of times, they told very similar stories with similar details. Each individual story added to the validity of the overall picture. We also follow the money and the paper trail. When it comes to confirming the information we're gathering, we look for things like receipts, court documents, and tax filings to confirm. All of that boring paperwork has a lot of useful information to verify what you're hearing. We keep asking questions until we know the truth. Remember, trustworthy reporting will cite where the information comes from. So if a story isn't saying where they're getting their information, you should be asking why. It's also important to note that legitimate media outlets never pay sources for information. That's something that tabloids and partisan bloggers do. Reporters are inundated with tons of information, kind of like everyone who goes online. But as a professional journalist, it's my job and responsibility to report on verifiable news, not my opinion or view of things. This accountability is one of the many things that separate professional journalists from entertainment outlets and citizen reporters. 
Hey guys, Sarah Self Walbrook here. If you liked this episode of Media Bites and want more lessons on media literacy in a media heavy world, tap on over to our channel to see all past episodes. Be sure to follow us at TTU Public Media for the latest bites that'll help you become more news savvy. Your algorithm will thank you.